What's up, guys? Now, before we get into this next and last part of this series, the police body cam series, I wanted to say a few thanks to all of you that have supported me through all of this. This ain't over yet. This video will be the conclusion to the police body cam series. Obviously, I'm still going through it with these people, and I'm going to continue to post updates as it moves along. Donations are still welcome. The links are still going to be posted below. So this is the entire thing that so many people, so many of you have been asking me for for since the beginning. Watch it all the way through to the end for two reasons. One, it's going to help my watch time hours, which will help me get monetized much faster. And two, it's going to give you a chance to see the whole story with fresh eyes from start to finish. This was off itself and then he comes and knocks on my door. He's like, hey, I had to turn your power off. Uh, the landlord's got to get an electrician to come out and fix it. I'm like, well, when's it going to be back on? So, whenever the landlord... I'm like, dude, you can't do that. I have a minor kid in the house. I have a, I have a dog, a service dog. I have a dog, cat, minor child in the house. You can't do that. My kid's not home right now. She's at mom's. Um, he's like, oh, yeah, it's, it's up to the landlord. It's clearly a retaliation. I thought this before she said this on camera. So I'm, I'm talking to him over there. I follow, yeah, he follows me, I follow him around that side of the house and he's explaining to me why he can't do nothing about it. And I'm recording him too on a separate video. And then she comes out, who I've never met before, but I know who she is because I got cameras and I've seen, you know, my over here that told me who she is. She's a black lady with pink hair, you can't miss her. Um, and she comes over here out of somewhere. So I come over here, I'm like, what are you guys doing? And, she, and she's like, uh, what do you mean? I'm like, you're you guys just turned my power off. Like, what are you doing? She was like, uh, trying to play stupid. She's like, who, I don't know who you are. And what do you mean the pole, like, what do you mean the power's turned off? Acting like she didn't know, right? So I'm getting mad at this point because I know she's playing games, right? And I'm like, you know what? And she starts to walk away from me. And I, I like, follow her around. I'll show you the video if you want. It's only, it's only seven minutes if you want to see it. I follow her around. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, trying to, and she... I just got done saying she didn't know what I was talking about. Walked right over, not even 30 seconds later, the Duke Energy guy was like, yeah, I'm the one that called you guys. And I'm like, ha, huh? you hear me on camera? Like, you just said you didn't know, right? And and then, you know, I'm like getting mad at this point. So I'm not yelling. I didn't curse. I didn't get belligerent or nothing like that. I'm just, you can tell I'm mad. And I'm still recording. And, I, and she goes, uh, I was like, well, you can't do this. You know, I was like, when are you going to, I kept asking, when are you turning my power back? When are you turning my power back? And she, and she like mean mugged me or something. And I laughed at her. I'm like, girl, you like from the hood. Like, you don't even know. I didn't say that. I'm just like, I laughed at her. I'm like, and then she started laughing. I'm like, is this funny to you? I was like, I got a kid and a pet in the house. I have to cook and provide for my children. And my dogs are going to get, my dog and cat's going to get hot. Why is this funny to you? Like, you really think it's funny? And she's like, aren't you dealing with an eviction right now? Which is true. But it was an illegal eviction that I'm fighting. They filed before while I was still, my, I had a balance from uh, the had paid up for my rent in December. They filed in October. So it was a legal eviction. So I'm fighting it. That doesn't matter anyway. They still can't do this. Right. One, of the reasons, one of the people that told me to call you is I called evictions. I called civil and then I called because I figured it's a civil matter. You guys can't do nothing anyway. Right. Um, they sent me to evictions. And evictions was like, call none. We didn't know who to call. She said, call 911. So I even told the lady that dispatch file. I was like, I didn't want to call 911, but I was told to by the um, evictions lady. But they said, yeah, they can't do that. Right, so, because it's not criminal in nature and it is civil, I can provide you all the information you will need to be able to fight her in court because okay. it is wrongful. Yeah. That, Absolutely. Well, that's, that's what I was kind of expecting. I even told the lady on the phone that, like, I know that it's civil and you guys probably can't do nothing, but I have a bunch of stuff on it. Like, right. I have cameras and they've, they've actually tried to get me to sign a fraudulent lease on that camera one time, so I have a bunch of stuff on them. I, Probably right. just need a report or something. So, yeah, just bring all your camera footage. Bring anything you have, like, documented conversations, whether it be text or whatever. Um, I'll give you the statute number that it falls under for the civil process and procedures. I think it's, like, 83 point something. Um, so I'll give you that 11. info. And I think it's 8311. I'm not sure. I yeah, it's... 80, I thought it was 8360 something, but... Um, I'll find one. I'm sorry. I'll give you money. I guess. I'll, I'll yeah. wait.
just wait until you got home, okay. but Yeah, I'll be home right here. Okay. Alright. Right, so I can give you all that info, but you're pretty much gonna have to file a civil claim and it'll one hundred percent should win in court. Yeah. Because you can't it says in the statute shall not turn off any kind of well, stuff. Th so I know that, but the thing is that they're saying that it's a fire hazard. Duke Energy, they, they use Duke Energy. And, right. and now, mind you, it's been there since October, and I've had plenty of footage of camera footage of them having contractors out here doing nothing. I don't know what they're doing. They, they don't do anything. Right. And they waited till now. So they're like hiding behind the fact that it's a it's a fire hazard, and Duke Energy won't do nothing about it. But again, it. it's you're renting the property that's on the landlord, and if the landlord's not doing what she needs to be doing to have you being able to live in a safe environment. Yeah. She's. It says in the statute, I believe it says intentional or unintentional uh, okay. walking of the services or whatever right. it is. So it could fall under the unintentional portion of it if it genuinely is because of a fire hazard. Yeah. So let me get you that stuff. Too. Okay, do you have a phone number for her? Okay. Gotcha. It is 504. So that's going to be the case somewhere there at the top for me. I'm going to document it anyway, even though I can't really do anything. I understand, still but that, it'll still go in court. Like, I can be like, hey. Right, so it's SO as in Sheriff's Office, 23 is the year, and then that's the case number. Um, it's going to be under 83.67, and I can read that to you really, really fast what portion. Okay. So it's under number one, a landlord of any dwelling uh -huh. governed by this part shall not cause indirectly or directly the termination or interruption of any utility service furnished by the tenant, including but not limited to water, heat, light, electricity, gas, elevator, etc. Right. Or not the utility service is under control over payment is made by the landlord. Um, it's, it's and then under number six, a landlord who violates any provision of this section shall be liable to the tenant for actual and consequential damages. So possibly like all of the food in your your refrigerator that's run off electricity, etc. Oh, there she is right there. There she is right there. Or three months rent. So, yeah. whichever is greater is what you would be awarded um, uh, in court as well as attorney fees. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, it's so crazy because they reported in September the code enforcement. I mean, I already called it, like Bob, or uh, Officer McDermott. He knows me. He came out here and talked to me, so they know. Okay. Like, I, t I tried to tell her, I'm like, you guys really, you guys are done. Like, why would you do this? Like, yeah. If you want to talk to her, I'll be more than happy to. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk to her. So, uh, let me get your info in just a minute, okay. if you want to. How are you? Hello. Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Alright, so can you tell me what's going on here? Why his power got shut off? Because that pole has been down. I don't know how long it's been down, okay. from my understanding, since the hurricane. Okay. And I'm the new community manager, and so that does not look good. Would you agree? No, absolutely not. But Okay, um, so I called Duke Energy. I was on the phone with them for an hour earlier today. They came out. When they came out and looked at it, he said that is not safe. So they took out the electric meters to keep any type of fire or anything from happening until we can get it fixed. So I have an electrician that's supposed to be coming out today because according to Duke Energy supervisor, superintendent, whoever he is, that metal pole has to be mounted back to that wood pole just like on the other side you see that rusted metal pole on the other side I, that has to be mounted back on there the way the other one is before they will put the meters back in and turn the electric back on the only reason this is coming up is because this lot has to be cleared within the next week or two because there's a home coming here and so i have to get this lot cleaned up and we got a um, cited by the city 
for this lot looking the way it is. Okay. So yesterday I was over here cutting the weeds, cutting the grass, and I could get a closer look at what that was like, which is what prompted me to call Duke Energy today to be like, okay, I need y'all to come do something with this. It can't stay like this. So what time are they supposed to be out here? Because who's the landlord? Are you the landlord of this place or who's the actual landlord? You find, okay, landlord, the owners of the comp the property is Gemstone Communities. Okay, yeah, whoever owns this place that he's renting from. Gemstone um, Communities. Okay. Yes. And then does, does he know that he could have a huge civil lawsuit on his hands because of the event that happened today? What is the event that happened today? So he was not... He was not properly notified way ahead of time that his power is going to be out. So, I mean, power like that could Nobody affect... Nobody knew that the power right. was going to be out until Duke Energy got here and saw the situation and he immediately cut They should the have had off. something <laughs> in place to, you know, for him to run off it, bring a generator or something for him to run off it until they could come back and fix it. Um, Completely because understandable. At Completely that point, understandable. I know it's not on you because you're not the landlord or owner of the actual property. But um, at that point, I mean, you're cutting services to a tenant who unlawfully, it could affect all of his groceries in his refrigerator. If he has kids and he has pets, all sorts of stuff. So it's there's an a emergency whole, type of situation. Right. Nobody knew this. Duke Energy didn't know this was going to happen when they came out here. Right. He actually said that if it was this way or that way, then he could have left it on. But so, he's like, the way it is, I have to cut this off and I cannot leave until it's cut it off. Okay, so let's back up here. Hold on, hold on. I know. Let's back up here. We, our code enforcement has been notified that this hole was like this before. That's so possible. why was it never fixed at that point? And now it's because a home's going here, so now it's like, oh, let me hurry and get this done and just cut out a tenant's power. Let me tell you why. Because yeah. the manager that was here was managing three other communities and she wasn't physically here to deal with stuff like this. Because so she just didn't care no, about no, the no, no, safety no, 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 of no, people? No, 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 it's not that. Or? It's like it takes an hour to be on hold with Duke Energy to get them to come out and even look at it. So it's like it's just the this, this is not the only issue. Before she got here, she had to get this house removed, you know, because the people that were in here, like I'll put so, it this way. Gemstone has owned the community now for about a year and a half. And ever since they bought the community, it's been putting out fires, solving problems that's been going on for way longer than they've been owning it. Okay. So little by little, things are being corrected. I am the first manager that's here that is gonna be here every day, Monday through Friday, to make sure things like this are addressed and handled in a timely manner. So did anyone, uh like notify him I mean prior to his stuff just getting shut off nobody knew that that was gonna happen nobody knew that at all like I said I just called Duke Energy today when I called them I didn't I didn't even know if this was the electric so did or not. Duke knock on his door and like hey man do you have a generator because we got to shut off the power for the day until we can get someone else out here to fix it up there wasn't that like type of situation there was no notification I'll put it this way. The only reason I even walked up on them doing it is because mm -hmm. I just so happened to be leaving for the day at 1 o'clock. And I usually try to walk the community before I leave. So I was walking the community and saw the Duke Energy truck back here. They were supposed to call me when they got here. They didn't even call me when they got here. There's nothing I can do about that. There's a camera right there. You see the camera? I heard you talking to him behind my house. I heard him ask you if this you is the house. You heard me say nothing. You, I, I have you been on, back here. I have you on camera. You want to watch it right here? Saying to me right here that you have no idea what I'm talking about. And then going over there 30 seconds later and contradicting yourself. Do you remember when I said you, you, you said, do I look scared about me recording you? And I said, no, but you will. That's why. Because you were contradicting yourself the whole time, huh? Listen, I apologize for being out of pocket. When are they going to fix the meter so I get my power turned back? That's the only question you need to be asking me. That's really it. Okay. What is Jim Stone's number? To just a what? phone I number know. that I can contact him at because there's that's not a person. Jim Stone is a company that owns oh, 56 communities across the country. So, 
in Michigan. Who who do I contact? Who do you contact about problems here? Um, as far as what? What I mean? I mean, it's owned surely by you a had corporation. to contact is a corporation. somebody <laughs> about this before you just called Duke. I'm sure it had to go up I'm some kind of chain manager. of command. I'm the community manager. So are I you saying all this is liable like on this. you at this point? Like what I don't. Mean by liable? I don't. I'm not understanding. Do you not have a chain of command that you follow? To do. You work to, under a corporation, correct? Uh huh. So all corporations, they have a chain of command. I understand that. What is it that you're trying to get? A, how high do you want to go? The owner? That's who you want to contact? Or you want to talk to my regional manager, who I can get? I have his cell phone right now. When I'll the talk electrician to Greg gets first. here, I have to call Greg to get his American Express to cover the dispatch charge. Okay, I'll talk because to him. That's the other thing. So with Gemstone, because it's a corporation, any vendor that we use, they have to be set up as a vendor, which they have to agree to be paid in 30 days. So supposedly the last electrician that they were working with were not was not okay with that, which is another reason why things have been put off. Okay. But yeah. What's your phone number? What time are they supposed to come out here? They told me between 2 and 6 o'clock. It's not your fault. I've been doing gemstone for a while. I'm sorry you got involved in it like that. Oh, it's gemstone. Okay. I thought it was like gemstone, like two names. Oh, no, no, no. Gemstone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's his last name, if you want to write down his last name. Okay. But yeah, so he's the regional director, so he's over like 20-some communities throughout Central Florida. But so, he's writing the paychecks, but he's like cutting the checks for these companies to come out here? Gemstone I'm cutting the paychecks. Well, they're based out of Michigan. I have all the information on it if you want. Uh, including excuse the picture me. of David, David Ruby and the news article you did, but all of it. What's a... Phone number for the electrician that's supposed to be out here. Mr. Sparky. I called Mr. Sparky. They are. Oh, it's hilarious. You have no idea. I'm still laughing at you. You're hilarious. You are a whole character in yourself. That has nothing to do with your character. You can handle things without being a whole character. Believe me, I know. You are too.
with the nail in the coffin. I already had gemstone before y'all went and did this. I hope you didn't do it. I hope you didn't do this for them on their behalf because I told you. you might be one Hi, this is the sheriff's office. Um, I'm calling okay. because there was supposed to be an electrician out to a mobile home park off of are you able to I'm tell me what the status is? I actually do. I know you do. Look at your beard. I know you respect my hair. Yeah, the electrician was supposed to be out here by 7 p.m. today. Um, someone got here without electricity. I got dispatched this call because it's a whole landlord and tenant situation. And at this point, he just needs his electric back on. It's been off since early this morning. It's gonna be. Let me check my computer. It's gonna be. Boulevard. And it's gonna be lot number. Boulevard. Um, let me ask if she's a landlord. I don't recognize the name. Is there a that would have been in charge of this? Whose name would it be under? Would it be under your name? For Mr. Sparky. Oh, um, mobile home community. Okay, that's the name it would be under, though? Yeah. Rich, I don't even know if they... It might be under... I don't know. It's not under that name, though. took my name. Took my, they took my cell phone number. I am a very, very, very grown Okay, so it was a lot that helps, but yeah, there's... Okay. So if the home owner itself is, it's owned by a company, like a corporate office. Um, Okay. Is that the baby okay. I'll let them know. Inside? I appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, he's okay. so full of energy. Like, I can't hear him when I'm walking by. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Alright, so. Yes, who did you call as far as getting the power back on? Because it wasn't Mr. Sparky. They don't turn the power. Mr. Or, Sparky doesn't turn the power back the on. The electrician. Somebody to come out here and fix it. Because it wasn't Mr. Sparky. It is. They don't have any appointment generated to come out today for this address at all. Not even, but yes, just the entire park. They don't have a single request for the entire park 
let alone this lot number. So it's probably not getting turned back on today. Well, I know it's not getting turned back on today because Duke has to, after they mount that back up there, according to Duke Energy, it has to be inspected so and does, then they can come back and turn it back on. Does the, can we, whatever this is that owns this place, corporation, do they not have something in line or set up in case something like this happens, like a generator to run their tenants' electricity off of? Like, how do they just turn it? We didn't. That's what I'm saying. Duke mm -hmm. Energy did it. That's I know. way bigger than us doing it. But <laughs> there has to be some kind of, there has to be something in place is what I'm trying to I tell would, you. I would love for that to happen too. Like, I mean, only so, thing I can think of. At this point, you're going to have a huge civil lawsuit on your hands. Uh -huh. Energy, by the way, Duke Energy told me completely different. She had left by that point, but they told me as soon as they get the electrician out here, 24 hours a day. Because they, because I asked them, they were, they actually got nice. When, once I cooled down, and like I was like, I'm sorry, you know, blah, 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 I apologize to them. They were real nice. They were like, oh, you, they, they're the ones that gave me the extension cord idea. And I was like, well, what can I do? He was like, you can pay to have it fixed yourself. I was like, oh, so I was going to do that. And I was like, so what if I just pay an electrician? He so said 24 hours, it'll come out immediately. If you're desperate for it, pay it yourself. I know, I thought about Go to civil court. Go for all restitution. Go for the three months rent. Go for the bills that they've costed you, whether it be groceries in your refrigerator because your refrigerator isn't working, whether it be whatever it is. Absolutely. Okay. No, yeah, I'm not born yesterday. Right, I let it. I pick my battles. <laughs> well, no, I understand because she clearly contradicts herself. No, I know. Didn't even bat an eye yeah. Right, yeah, no, I'm used to it. But I, 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 it's one that, of those things. That's pretty much how I get. Like, I don't want to be negative about self. Like, right, you're just, you're gonna have to go pretty much against the corporation, I guess, yeah. to, so to say. Yeah, they might, you know, buy you out, or you're gonna have a civil lawsuit on your hands because. They can't just come and not have any kind of. They can't just turn off. You're, you're renting a property from them. Uh huh. Yep. And that's. So at that point, I would hire your own. Get it done because obviously it's not getting done through the management here. To get an electrician out here. Well, so. I'm that, that maybe just I don't know. I can't really afford to. I mean, I have money. Obviously, I, the money I need to go goes in the registry, so I can fight the eviction with all the loads of evidence I have against them. They can't possibly win. Um, they had three different laws that they broke you know, over the past year. With you know, I didn't have a camera footage of it. Um, so I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, do I, do I do that and then risk not having the money to put in the registry? That's the reason why I haven't done it yet. I've been reaching out to friends and stuff and see you. I got a couple. I did have one guy. One guy came over. He, he, he runs property. He has a couple of properties. He's like, man, this pole is rotten. I hit it with my trailer right now. Duke Energy has to fix it. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not doing anything like that. But, um, so I, I mean, I, I appreciate it. The advice. Yeah. The, 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 um, hey, you're going to have to go after them in civil because, and luckily you have everything reported. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going um, after them. That's but, without a doubt. I'm actually, I've been in contact with a couple lawyers. Uh, Abundance. Yeah, so. Alright, well, if you need anything. No, I think that'll do. Okay. I, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, the report just that I can access the report here or something that I can. You can give them the case number or you can go Is down the, to our records at the. It, no, it's going to be uh, down on the road. That big building on the road, it's towards the beach a little bit further. All right, I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, it's, Is this the case number though? Yes. Yeah, so, it's so you can go there and get a copy of it. Mm -hmm. But you can't, um, you can't get one online? No, they they do printed copies, I believe. Question, the only solution that I had, just me being who I am, um, was to, I have two empty homes that uh -huh. I'm going to check with Greg and see if we can put him in one of those homes until we can get the electric back on. But I got to make sure that there is electric and water in those homes. Right. Yeah. Well, well again, I mean, feel free to, uh, 
Alright. Good luck with everything. Thank you.